Would you like a fitter body and a sharper mind? And have fun while you're doing it? If so, stick with us to this game of... Fitness, Fitness Trivia! Trivia. Uh, thanks for joining everybody. This is my mother, Karen. She'll be guiding you on the standing exercises. Hello, I hope you're having a good day and ready to make it even better. I'm Dr. Stephen Kane, president of the Whole Brain Health Initiative. I'll be guiding you on the seated exercises throughout the program. Anything's uncomfortable, alter it, sit it out. The more you listen to your body, the more you will get out of the program. Also, if you're in a group of people, make sure you get an arm's distance between you. No. <laughs> I wasn't going to poke you. <laughs> I was ready for it. He does that so often. <laughs> yeah, relax, man. Okay. Okay, sorry. Okay, let's go get started here. Deep breath in, arms over your head. Slowly exhale, the arms come down. The theme for today's program will be fashion. Categories are brain health, jokes, fashion, and riddles. Mom, would you like to spin the wheel? Help us decide our first category. Sure. All right, it looks like we have fashion. All right, well, let's head off to a photo shoot. All right. All right, well, we're ready for the photo we're shoot. We're ready for the photo shoot. All right, this is the warm up portion, so be sure to really melt into all the stretches and the exercises. Starting off with our posture stretch. Squeeze the shoulders back and down, palms up, heart forward. What undergarment was used to cinch a woman's waistline? You squeeze those shoulders back and down, palms up. It's a good stretch for the front of the chest, the shoulders, and the core. A little bit of a clue there, core. A little bit more, squeeze the arms back and down, palms up. The answer here is a corset, which is a fashion staple in the Victorian Ooh, era. Yes, it really cinched in that waistline. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll be back in the 1830s. Okay, I'm gonna stretch over, loosening up underneath the shoulder, the side of your core. What style of pants were worn by both men and women where the lower part of the leg is flared out and was very popular in the 1960s and the 1970s. Lean a little bit more. Yeah. Coming the other way. Deep breathing. One more deep breath, melt into it. Coming on up. What's the answer here, Mama? Bell bottoms. Mm -hmm. I had plenty of them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're gonna straighten one leg, sit up tall, hinge forward, loosening up your hamstring or the back part of your thigh. What is the name of the towering hairdo that became the trend for the modern woman in the 1960s? Lean in a little bit more, really loosening up your thigh. <laughs> I'm laughing about the hairdo. Yeah, stretch the other way. What'd you think of this one, Mom? I think it's, I think what a look that was. <laughs> <laughs> Should we give him a clue? Let's give him a cool clue. Bzz. <laughs> Lean in a little bit more, stretch out the back part of your thigh. Very good. The answer here is the beehive. <laughs> All right, reaching across. With what 1960s fashion staple will singer Nancy Sinatra be forever linked? Really gliding through the waist. Should you give him a clue, Mom? Let's give him a clue. <laughs> okay. One of these days, these are, are gonna, gonna walk all, all over you. you. <laughs> and the answer is go, go, boots. <laughs> 
All right, next up, stretching an arm across, loosening up the back part of your shoulder. In the USA, in 1924, the New York Board of Health tried to ban which beauty product? Let me squeeze the arm in, loosening up your shoulder. And the other arm. You want to give them the clue here, Mom? This beauty product was banned for women and the person the woman would be kissing. <laughs> Is that a clue? <laughs> Guess they thought it was poisonous, huh? They did. All right, the answer here is lipstick. And by the way, just want to let you know, it was more for the sake of the men back in that day than the women. They didn't want the men to be poisoned. And sometimes women were considered to be witches if they wore it. Wow. I know. Glad that's over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Next up, wrist rolls. Good. What actress and princess of Monaco said, your style should be tight enough to show you're a woman and loose enough to show you're a lady? And roll the wrist the other way. Good. Answer here is Grace Kelly. All right, last up we have our piriformis stretch. So we're all gonna use a seat for this. Cross one ankle over the other leg, wherever you can get it. You can't get it up on top, wherever you can cross. Once you got it there, sit up tall, hinge forward from the hips, loosening up the back part of your hip. What were women called in the Warring Twenties? who wore shorter dresses, lots of makeup, and danced at jazz clubs. Deep breath, melting a little bit more. Very good. Let's go and switch legs here. Again, sit up tall, hinge forward at the hips. You wanna give him a clue here, Mom? I would love to give a clue. Their favorite dance was the Charleston. And I would love to know how to do that dance. I, I find that quite a challenge, but they knew how to do it so well. One more deep breath, melt into the stretch. All right, and these women were called flappers. All right, well, that concludes our warm up portion. Would you like to spin the wheel? Help us decide our next category, Mom. Oh, sure. Would like to. All right. Let's see what we got. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, riddles. All right. Well, you know what? I think we've conquered the photo shoot here. <laughs> we are now ready for the runway. <gasps> All right. Whoa. Runway time. We are ready. <laughs> All right, we're doing our strength training portion here. So we're gonna make our muscles stronger, our bones more dense, and promote a bigger, better functioning brain. Starting off with our squats. If you're seated, sitting up tall, hinging forward at the hips, use your legs to press yourself up. If you're standing, doing them just like mama's doing them. What is the name of a man's fashion accessory that is also the name of a formal event? And I feel like we're dressed for that formal event. Mm-hmm. can give another clue. Oh, you can? I can, oh. whenever you're ready. Let's do one more squat. Okay, what's that clue? Right here. <laughs> That's the clue. <laughs> Couple more. One more. This would be black tie. Next up, we have our core exercise. Gonna bring an elbow towards our knee. What can you wear that never goes out of style? You giving them a clue? Sure. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> and bring the elbow as close to the knee as you can. Excellent way to tone up the, ab the abs. Keep your core strong. <laughs> I'm guessing everyone picked up on my mom's <laughs> clue there. <laughs> that a smile is something you can wear that will never go out of style. Okay, arms overhead. You're gonna lean to the side. Use your core muscles to sway you over the other way. And the further you lean to the side, the more challenging it is. What has a tongue but never speaks? It's not an animal. It's a <laughs> particular article of clothing. <laughs> what you doing there, Mom? <laughs> Trying to give a little clue <laughs> with my foot. Couple more, one each way. One this way, one more the other way. And good. This would be a shoe. Okay. Shoulder exercise, let the arms hang down to the side. You're gonna roll them up, press them over, and down. What is a facial expression and a fashion accessory? <laughs> what a combination. Ready to give him a clue? Sure. Okay. <laughs> it's hard to keep a straight face with that. <laughs> Try one more time. Okay. <laughs> one more. Come. This be a purse. You can purse your lips or you can have a purse. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next up, tricep extensions. Gonna tone up the back part of our arms. So you're gonna lean forward, bring those arms up as high as you can, and really try to get them parallel to the ground. Hold for a sec. Let the arms come back down and back up. What do detectives do to phones that dancers also do with their shoes? Squeeze, hold the top. Good. And good. Boy, can I feel this. That's good. Think you're able to give him a clue at the same time, Mom? Okay, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> you're really multitasking over there, aren't you? <laughs> Always exercise with safety, okay? Make sure you don't fall over. <laughs> Hold at the top, squeeze, good. And do two more, coming down. One more up, squeeze at the top. Let the arms come down. And one last one, squeeze at the top. And very good. This would be tap. Detectives will tap phones and dancers can also tap with their shoes. All right, this concludes our strength training portion. Mom, would you like to spin the wheel? Help us decide our next category. Sure. All right, and oh, favorite one jokes. All right, now we are halfway through the program, so if you want to take a break to use the restroom, get a drink of water, now's the time to do it. But if you are ready to join us, now that we've conquered the, the now that we've conquered, what did we just conquer? The photo shoot. The photo shoot. And the runway. And the runway. Now what? What else could there be? We're going to go find out right now. Wow. Oh my goodness. Fabulous. Oh. We are really high up. We are way up at the top now. That's right. Oh. Final place to make a fashion statement. Yes, it is. Wow. All right. This is our cardio portion. So we're going to stimulate our body to create more blood vessels throughout the entirety of our body, including our brain. Also promotes a bigger, better functioning brain. Let's get started here. Step to the side with an arm curl. What did the spiritual fashionista say about high heels? You're going to find that pace that's good for you. And mom, what's the answer here? She said, they bring you closer to heaven. 
So this is what wearing high heels feels like, <laughs> huh? <laughs> All right, next up, swimming. What do you call a stylish vegetable? You give me a clue here, Mama? Sure. It's a type of pea. Okay. Hmm. Could it be a chickpea? Um, oh, no. It's a chic pea. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up, we got arms up. Coming down with the knee raise. Good. What do you call a fashionable dinosaur? This is a cute one. <laughs> I like it. So fashion was around way back then in the dinosaur days. Couple more. And what's the answer here, Mama? A Trendosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> right, next up, jogging. What did the rain cloud wear under its raincoat? And find that pace is good for you. So underneath its raincoat, the cloud was wearing thunderwear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up we got our Arms together, we're gonna to come out with a knee raise. An arthritic person was complaining about their aches and pains to their shoes. How did the shoes respond? <laughs> Do you ever talk to your shoes, mom? Well, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> And what did these shoes say to the arthritic person? They said, we're here to support you. Oh, that's Isn't nice. Isn't that nice? <laughs> All right, next up, jumping jacks, arms overhead, step to the side. What comes in many sizes, but is always one foot long? Mom? Yes? How, how big is your foot? Oh, my foot is a size 8. Oh. How about you? Well, 11. Your foot is 11? Huh. <laughs> the answer would be a shoe. A shoe. A shoe size. A shoe. <laughs> All right, next we get our punch kicks. Good. Yes. What did the model say at the fashion show? when asked why she covered her body in all black. All right, almost done with the cardio portion. We get a couple more here. You're doing great, everybody. I can feel my heart beat. Pumping yep. mm -hmm. a little more. Well, a lot more. All right. She said, my fashion sense is second to none. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this concludes the cardio portion. Next up, we have brain health. Now, we realize we shouldn't be spending too much time getting high on fashion. Oh. So we're going to head back down to planet Earth here. All right. All right. It's a nice place to do our oh, cool down. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah. All right, this is the cool down, so be sure to really melt into the stretches, the exercises, do them in the way that feels best to you. Starting off, stretching an arm across, loosening up the back part of your shoulder. What colors of clothing are most likely to improve your mood? Really hug that in, tight across, loosening up the shoulder. And switch arms here. Let's 
So these would be warm colors like yellow, orange, pink, and red. So if you ever want to lighten up your mood, you can just lighten up the colors of the clothing that you're wearing. Squeeze it just a little bit more. Very good. Okay, next up. Reaching across. Good. True or false? Places like Saudi Arabia, where people cover the vast majority of their skin with their clothing, have lower levels of vitamin D. This is most certainly true. So it's something to be mindful of when you're going about your fashion and picking out what clothes to wear. If you're gonna be outside, make sure you give yourself an opportunity for the sun to hit your skin so you can produce more vitamin D, which is an extremely healthy thing for your brain and for your body. Hamstring stretch, gonna straighten one leg, sit up tall, hinge forward, loosening up the back part of the thigh. True or false? And clothed cognition is a scientific concept recognizing the effect our clothing has on our psychology. Deep breath in, really melt in, yep, yep. <laughs> and other way. This is definitely true. So use this to your advantage. The clothing that you decide to wear can very much impact the way that you think, the way that you feel, and ultimately the, the decisions that you make. So er, try to pick your clothing, the things that make you wanna be active, go to the exercise classes, get out and socialize. The more you do that, the healthier your brain is gonna be and the, the happier you will be. That's fascinating. Stretch a little bit more. Beautiful, coming on up. All right, deep breathing, arms overhead. Slowly exhale. Does wearing a lab coat increase attention? Yes, it does. This is assuming that it's in a culture where wearing a lab coat is symbolic of a doctor. Just goes back to the whole concept, the clothing that we wear really affects our mindset and we can leverage that to our benefit. Good, all right, slow dance. True or false, wearing compression socks can help improve coordination of the foot and the ankle. Obviously, the more coordinated we are, the less likely we are to fall, which is a, a very good thing. And this is another very interesting, fun fact for me to know. It's fascinating. Yeah, very, and very, very practical. It's yeah. true, and these compression socks, compression leggings, they help squeeze the blood back to our upper body, improving circulation, and in preventing the blood from pooling to our feet and our legs, or at least slowing it, this helps to increase our mobility and improve our coordination. So our, our fashion statements, the way that we dress, we can think of it from a, a medical standpoint as well. Congratulations, everybody. Made it through another episode of Fitness Trivia. We're gonna go ahead and take a moment here to honor our participant of the month. Greg, what do you like most about fitness trivia? Well, when you get a chance to exercise your brain, you use your brain a lot as well as your body. Yeah. And your brain really gets a rigorous workout. Now your body does too. Uh, but you, you're strengthening uh, the whole body uh, with the things that we do. Yeah, right on, man. With the questions and the mobility of your body. And the questions, uh, they also get you laughing. Yeah. And uh, some of the jokes and things are really good for you. Awesome. And the Bible says that laughter is good medicine for your soul. If you'd like to stay up to date with our new videos coming out on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. Also, if you would like more brain health at your community, we have a variety of different programs. Reach out to me, Dr. Steve, at wholebrainhealth.org. 
All right, just a friendly reminder, we just made our muscles stronger, made our bones more dense, boosted our immune system, and created a bigger, better functioning brain, all while learning new, fun, cool information about fashion. And I bet you had a smile and some fun along the way. So if you want even more of these benefits, join us for another game of... Fitness, Fitness Trivia! Trivia.